Hi, my name is Bastian. I'm the co-founder of HubLead. And in this video, I will show you how to set up the best HubSpot LinkedIn integration in just one click using our Chrome extension. So we will check how to import LinkedIn contacts and of course, Sales Navigator contacts to your HubSpots in just one click. Syncing LinkedIn messages, Sales Navigator messages such as emails, and of course, invitation to your HubSpots. Enriching your CRM with emails and LinkedIn data. And of course, monitoring your LinkedIn activities, Sales Navigators also, on HubSpot because we integrate with both LinkedIn and Sales Navigator. Let's dive in. So make sure you have the Chrome extension installed. You can do it from our website. Once you connect it to HubSpot, you will see this little widget on your LinkedIn profile URL or on Sales Navigator. I'm showing you on LinkedIn, but it works the same on Sales Navigator. Here, we see that Sarah is not in my HubSpot. How do we know that? We are checking according to the first name, last name, and the company name, company domain. Let's say I'm sure that I have some contacts from Stripe, but I'm not, I don't know if Sarah is in, in here. Here I can check and link the contact. Otherwise, I can create a brand new contact. You can search by job title, email, first name, last name, like that. Now it's she's in our up spot. Uh, you can see that we set the owner as me, the life cycle stage as the default one. The company, the company can be reaffected. We can search for any email or phone numbers, especially mobile phone numbers. We provide integration with Lucia, Casper, Rocketrich, and I will show you later, but it will be more useful for you. Here you can display any additional properties. It's really simple. You add a property, you can search for, for example, the last name if you want, or a custom property, and you can save it. Sorry. And here you can uh, modify everything. So here, we can see uh, what kind of data we import into HubSpot. We imported the first name, last name, job title. We imported the email we found, the profile picture, contact owner and lifecycle stage are set. You see the values and it's marked as HubLead import. You see, we have also the LinkedIn profile URL. So we also use this one to uh, recognize LinkedIn contacts uh, with your HubSpot contact. We try to find if there is already a stripe.com company, for example, according to the domain name and the LinkedIn company URL, not to prevent duplicate company in your spots. Now you saw how to import LinkedIn contacts. I will show you how to sync LinkedIn messages to HubSpot. On the business plan, whenever you open a chat, it automatically syncs the messages to HubSpot. On the professional one, you will have a sync message button. Every conversation synced to a spot, sorry, are tagged as LinkedIn message. So easier for you to filter them, to retrieve in your list, in your report, and so on. And you get one activity per day of conversation. And of course, this activity is linked to the company and the contact. Before entering into reports and viewing your LinkedIn activities of every sales rep in your HubSpot, for example, you can see we have a new feature over there it's our CRM card where you can see who is connected with who inside the company. So for example, Mark Petit has sent an invitation on the 2020th of October, me on August, and mine has been accepted and the other one is still in sent mode. So you can also view this data with our custom, uh, custom event, sorry, uh, LinkedIn invitation. You can have the LinkedIn message if you had one and even the accepted. You can have, for example, a connection request accepted, connection request sent by workflow, because you can perform any workflow based on a custom event. For the reports, it's pretty straightforward. You can create a report to see how many contacts you created uh, per week, per month, for example, how many LinkedIn conversations per week, per sales you have with a split of your sales rep. And since we have the LinkedIn custom event, uh, LinkedIn invitation, sorry, custom event, you can see how many requests sent we, we sent, uh, connection requests accepted per week, and connection requests uh, still in the pending mode. And you can have a, a bigger overview of your HubSpot lead generation on LinkedIn. I hope it helped you to better understand how this integration can help you 
to make the most of LinkedIn while you're using HubSpot, keeping your CRM updated and improve the performance of your sales rep. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any question, you can reach me out on LinkedIn, YouTube, or on the website on the chats. I will be more than happy to answer to your question and give you some hints about your newest features. 